Okay, so it's another week in my life. It's Monday morning. It's about 7.30 or so. I'm sorry I look like doo-doo, but actually my skin's healing up pretty well. I had a really, really red break breakout a week ago. I have no idea why, um, but it's starting to clear up. So I'm here in my girly room that you guys have seen before, and this is what I have normally for breakfast is some cinnamon toast with a, or raisin toast, a little bit of cinnamon, and then I have my coffee, and then I usually just watch TV for a little bit while I get ready. Play with lady. Say hi again. Oh, what? Now you're scared of the camera? Ooh, scary. She wants to play. Too tired to play, lady. So, lady sleeps down here and keeps me company while I get ready. Isn't she cute? Coco Bear calls her a little cinnamon roll when she rolls up like that and goes to sleep. Did I wake you, princess? Spoiled. So I'm in the car now. I finished getting ready. It's quite the uh, process to get all my stuff packed up in the morning, get Lady packed up because she comes with me to work just because she's a really good doggy and she does really well. Um, and then I got to get my coffee. Yay, Starbucks. I get my venti iced coffee with non-fat milk. <laughs> Um, but I usually try to get to the office by 9.30 and we record, um, we don't record the whole day because there's other stuff we have to work on like pictures of products, watches, um, work on some of the posts. Um, so I usually leave the office around 5.30 or so and then I do a little bit more work at home at night. I usually try to knock out some more emails. My inbox is insane all the time. Um, so yeah, got my coffee and fueled up, ready to go tape. Okay, so I'm at work. There's the studio gonna get ready to record in a little bit there's lady and Abby that's Nicola's dog she brings her in because her and, and lady are BFS and there's Ari hi Ari she's off on spring break that's Jess's little girl Jess is back there working hard Nicola's working hard hello they look very pretty today I must say Okay, so we're getting ready to tape you like how my feet are on the uh, counter here because I'm trying to get up tall enough on the chair so all of our stuff. My desk is a mess, you guys. This is what you don't see on camera. Lady's just staring like, yeah. And then Amanda's crazy. getting this ready to record. Nicholas doing lighting. So tall. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute Amanda is. She's pregnant. She's having her first baby. <laughs> cute mama Sita. She's doing May. Congrats, Amanda. Thank you. Nicholas focused right now getting that camera to work. <laughs> Okay, so I just got done taping this look. This is my Easter look, and I like how it turned out because it's like really bright and colorful, but it's still very springy. And then Amanda did a good job on my hair, so we're gonna go tape the fashion part next. Okay, so we got all our equipment out, and Nicola is doing the videography. Get away from me, Get away from me you stupid beagle. <laughs> <laughs> so we're outside, and we're doing um, some video shots with the outfit. It's really nice out. I wish we could work outside more often. It would be nice. It would be nice. But we are kind of spoiled and we do get to a little bit, so. I know. It's nice. So the work day is done. It's about 6 o'clock. We just did some fashion shots with, um, with Nicola. And it actually takes a little bit longer to do those. I usually get a little bit more tired when we do those. Not that it's been like, you know, I'm not physically active in my job. But it just gets really hot because we lug all of our equipment outside and walk around try to find different locations for shots and stuff. Um, but I like how it turned out. I got to do an all-in-one video with fashion, hair, and makeup. So it was kind of a full day doing that. And then we taped another video and then did, you know, a bunch of emails and took pictures of products and stuff. So we actually got a lot of stuff done today. Um, tomorrow's another taping day. Um, and then after that, I got to prove some um, more stuff for the lab to work on. So it's always something going on, but um, I do still love taping. It's fun. Um, I'm just exhausted now because I got to go home and still do some more emails and catching up and checking things on the Make a Beak site before I call it a night. So I get some dinner first and then do more work. Okay, so it's Tuesday morning, another day of taping. I'm trying to do extra taping this week just because um, in April I'm gone quite a bit. So I want to make sure I have enough videos to post for you guys on a regular basis even though I'm on the road a lot. Um, April I'm actually going to Michigan, New York. Um, possibly Seattle, which I'm, I'm irritated about because we were supposed to go, Coco Bear and I were going to go this week just for a few days. Part work, part fun, but um, I got really, really sick last night, like horrific stomach pains. I get them, my health has been getting um, not as good in the last month or so. I had a really bad bout last summer, got good for a while, and then now I'm getting sick again, and I don't get any answers from doctors. I've heard six different things from six different people. 
So it's kind of frustrating because it's I'm scared to fly and travel when I don't feel good because the pain is so horrific. Like it, I've had a few instances where it got so bad I ended up in the ER because I like started blacking out. The pain was so bad. I'm not even joking. And um, so that's kind of frustrating. So I think um, I'm due taping today and uh, tomorrow instead of flying i'm actually just going to take it easy i think i'm going to go see the doctor and i don't know try to get some answers again or see what they can do um, if not i may just take it easy and try to rest a bit i think part of it's stress induced so this the rest of this week is going to be like kind of low-key i think just kind of rest <laughs> get some sleep okay so i just got done recording a couple videos i did hot new products for march and then i also taped um because I'm doing five makeup looks for work and they're really easy looks like just different ideas that you guys can do um, each day of the week so I taped day four of that and then I've been cleaning up the office look how nice and clean my desk is that's the cleanest I've seen it in months <laughs> so that's what I've been doing is just trying to clean up everything get caught up on stuff and I'm gonna go answer the beast of emails in my inbox okay I just got my inbox down to 24 can I just say what a miracle that is right now I'll give you guys a little mini tour of my office, I'm writing my to-do list. I actually cleaned off my desk. I'm pretty dang excited. So this is my work office. Got a bunch of stuff here. It's all my makeup I got to take home to play with. Lady's over there snoozing. She has a really rough day at work. Poor baby. Okay, back in the car. I swear half of my day is living in the car. I actually get a lot of work done on the car because I have the sound system set up with my phone and I make a lot of business calls in the car. So, work was good today. I got a couple more videos taped. My phone's blowing up. And got my inbox down to 24. Woo -woo! That's a miracle for me because usually my inbox is at like 120 on a daily basis. If I don't clear it out every single day, it's insane. So, I'm just going to head home and then I'm going to start working on the folders for the makeup class I'm teaching this Sunday so I'm excited about that so it's gonna be kind of a long night but um it's okay because at least I love what I do so these are the folders I'm working on for the class it's actually more work than I expected but they're really fun it just has little pull out tags with eye shapes some tips place for notes so I like how those turned out so I keep forgetting to tape you guys. I've been so busy all day with emails, phone calls, a lot of stuff came up and then I've been recording um, tutorials all afternoon. And I did kind of a all in one like um, little bits of my day as well as like eating healthy and being stylish on the go. Um, but also I was going over blushes today. I got the last three colors and the final sample. So they're gonna be soon. And I just signed off on these. Ooh, pretty. So let me do little swatches for you guys. There's that one. It's kind of a tannish color, which is good for contouring. This is a dupe for NARS Orgasm. Look how pigmented that is. Ooh, nice, huh? To be honest, I cannot even remember the names of these, you guys. I picked out names over a year ago for these, so I'm going to have to look them up. There's the soft pink one. Really pretty. I'm really excited how they turned out because um, they're super pigmented and um, they're exactly how I wanted them. So finally, like a year later, all of the colors are done now. So now they're gonna come in production. We're aiming for May 1st for them to launch, but I'll, again, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So I'm gonna sign off in these blushes, answer some emails, and then grab a lady and we're gonna head home. Okay, so you guys get a little sneaky peek of what's in here. This is why it's like, I get frustrated that I gained 12 pounds in the last year because I still eat hecka healthy. You can see like all the stuff I bought, it's all like, I got salad mix. It's all veggies and stuff. So I try to eat really healthy. Look at all that. Lots of produce. So you can tell what we're having this week. Okay, so we're getting ready for the makeup class. Angela's over there helping out. She's putting ribbons around the folders. And we're getting all the goodies in the baskets. I'm really excited. <laughs> okay, say hi, everyone. We're at the Makeup Geek class. Look how beautiful everyone is. And... And we were all talking about how nice it smells in here. This is the great thing about teaching women. They all smell good. <laughs> so any other questions before we dig in? What about an almond eye? Almond eye you can actually wear pretty much any anything. technique. Okay. Yeah. So anything will work. I mean, for me, I have kind of an almond, kind of a, um, protruding eyes. But like this one's generally flattering, but you could obviously do any of them. Thank you. 
create that illusion of a um, more prominent ray. Hi, my name is Mandy and I'm here at the March 30th Makeup Geek Workshop with Marlena and it's so much fun. We get to learn so many things, such great products and uh, it's definitely one of the best experiences I've ever had and I'm really happy to be here. Thank you, Marlena. <laughs> Okay, so the class is over. Me and Coco Bear had to come home because I am so starving, but we had to check on Baby Bear. <laughs> like, she knows her name. Watch. She'll respond to it. Lady Baby Bear. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go on a date with Papa Bear. Yeah, Coco Bear's good. taking me on a hot date. That's right. He smelled really good today. I loved your cologne. Wow, that sounded pervy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so date night is over. We just got home and I'm stuffed. How about you? Oh, uh, I'm full. <laughs> Doesn't Coco Bear look handsome? Hold on, let me get your outfit. Coco Bear looks so handsome in his outfit, his casual outfit. Ooh. Oh, you're too much. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, ignore my mess of a room. I've got stuff everywhere. I have to vacuum. Lady's tackling her pillow. What you got, lady? Oh, flappy ear. This is my pillow. Look at her floppy G ear. Give me that. <laughs> She's all buggy eyed. <laughs> <laughs> lady, lady wants some lemonade. <laughs> She's going <Lady>. crazy. <laughs> Lemonade. <laughs> she wants a straw. <laughs> <laughs>